Honestly speaking, the ANC needs to take the same energy that they're treating Jacob Zuma with and apply it on Mr. Know It All, Mr. I did nothing wrong, Mr. It was not in my turn, Mr. Blame them and not me, the former president Tabumbegi. I mean, the man is literally decampaigning the ANC once again. This is the same man that says to the public, I will never tell people to vote for the ANC. Tabumbeki said it before Jacob Zuma said anything wrong about the ANC. And now he continues to decampaign the ANC. The question is, why now? Why would you go on national television and say that there are people who are working in the ANC right now who are counter-revolutionary to the progress of the ANC, saying that people are working in the ANC to get jobs and all of these things that he's saying, and the ANC must remain silent because it's Tawombeki, it's not Jacob Zuma. Ah, guys, come on now. Welcome to King Said So, Africa's one land, one language, one currency, one army on King Said So. Africans can unite your Pan-Africanist podcast. Enjoy. Black Heart, the Hustle Continua. 100% good quality t shirts. Made to inspire your goals and dreams. T shirts are now available at an affordable price. Place your order now. 068 473 6908. Instagram at black7576. Facebook page Black Heart. I don't think the ANC understands that reality. Um, it is true that you have got many greedy people, many corrupt people. If, if, if I ask the question, I ask the question, why is the ANC which marginalize people, as we in today, as we are saying, why is it behaving like this? I say to the ANC comrades that when I you say I must go campaigning next year to, to say to people vote ANC, <coughs> how am I going to do that? To say vote ANC when I know very well that the, the branch of the ANC in this constituency is led by a criminal. Yeah. You can't. You can, you, it's not possible to go and say vote ANC for a criminal. Peace in Pan-Africanism to all my African brothers and sisters from all around the world. Welcome back to King Says So. I'm your host, King053, Mr. Easy Imali Enengi Neng. And we're back at it again with another one. And this time around, I want to speak about this self-righteous um, former president of ours, U um, Tawombeki. Honestly, I say young boy for a in totally. So self-righteous, man. So prideful you know and in this video once again tabumbeki decampaigns the anc not that i'm complaining but i hate people who act like they want the best for you can't they want you to fall in the process they want to praise themselves and make themselves look good in your peril and this is exactly what tabumbeki is doing tabumbeki pretended as if He's supporting the ANC in their campaign. He joined the, 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 the campaign of the ANC. And in in their in joining the, the campaign of the ANC, all he spoke about was Jacob Zuma. In everything he was, every place he was going, the only thing he could say is Jacob Zuma did bad, leave Jacob Zuma alone. Under his term, things were bad. Uh, you know, nobody was better than me. Uh, me and Mandela, we did a great job and everything. And we have to, we have to, as pan Africanists, point out and tell this guy that with the two third majority that he had, he did absolutely nothing. In fact, we have to point it out that he's the only ANC president that got the two third majority. Not even Nelson Mandela got two-third majority. Young tall, maybe you don't know. Tabon Becky is the same guy that told us not so long ago, don't vote for the ANC. And, you know, um, 
Ukoli asked him, uh, asked him, you said we must not vote for the ANC. Why did you say that? At some point, you said you can't possibly campaign for the ANC because there are known people in some communities who are associated to this party, but they also are engaged in criminal activity. Are you confident now that the ANC has rid itself of these elements now that you have seen it fit to go and campaign for it? No, as I say, colleague, as I said, the, uh, the 2017-2022 National Conference of the ANC <clears throat> decided uh, that it's absolutely imperative that the ANC must renew itself. That process, this, certain elements of it have started, but we haven't gone into the depth of it, that process of renewal. Hmm. So it still has to happen. It still has to happen. So the thing I was complaining about, that you, you, it's say you have, you have, you had certain instances in the country where branches of the ANC were led by criminals. That's why I was saying, you know, how do you expect me to go and say vote ANC? I go to a particular constituency. Here is this uh, uh, ward. I go to a particular ward, and there's an ANC branch in this ward, and it's led by a criminal. The population in the in the ward know know that. How do I say to this population in this ward vote ANC? It doesn't make sense. I, I can't do that. That's what I was saying to the ANC. Mm. I was saying, Jeff, please, can we clean up this house? Clean up house so that, indeed, when we go to the population to say vote ANC, we're talking about them voting for an ANC that lives up to its obligations to serve the interests of the people. Mm. That's what I was saying. That work has not been done totally. It's not been completed. It started. It started. It's work that has got to continue beyond the elections to make sure that the ANC becomes what the people expect of it. Yeah. I've got to press you a little bit on this. Yes, the work has not been done, but it has started. Give us those signals that the work has indeed started of building this new cadre that was sung about 2017, as you've said, 2022 uh, conference where are the signals that things are starting, or, or the cleanup process, let me put it simply, the cleanup process is well on its way? Let, let me give you one, just one example, Cole, which I think is a very important example, which was the establishment of the Integrity Commission uh, of the ANC. Hmm. Very critically important to say Membership of the ANC does not consist only in your being able to pay your dues. It also consists on the issue of integrity. If you're a person of, if you, if you are not a person of integrity, you can't belong to this organization. So you have an integrity commission set up there. It's even empowered itself. It doesn't need somebody to refer Tabombeke to them. If they think that here is this Tabombeke member of the ANC, really not behaving properly. They, are, they can summon Tabun Bege to say, come come and can answer. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the same Tabun Bege who called ANC officials criminals. <laughs> Again, I'm not complaining. What he's saying is true. But don't be that type of a guy who pretends to want the best for the ANC. And Bafetu, let's be honest. Everything in life goes with timing. You know when Fikir Mbalula said what he said about the fire pool and whatever, People were not actually mad at um, the revelation that he dropped. It's nothing new that people did not know, you know. But the problem was the timing. That you are busy with elections and you are saying these things that are what we call own goals to the ANC. And Tabumbeki is doing the same thing. By trying to be self-righteous, he shoots the ANC in the foot um, uh, at the expense of his glory. I mean, who, who can, who, who does not see this? Who does not see this? And he co continuously does this every time, every single time without fail. Tabon Beki will, will um, shoot the ANC, make his uh, term as a president shine and everything. Two-third majority did not give back the land 
messed up with the HIV uh, program, uh, did not did not do anything in terms of um, uh, nationalization. These are the policies of the ANC. He did not implement any of them. In fact, he could have changed the, the, the constitution if he wanted to because of the power that he had at that time. Again, I repeat, he was the only president that had the two-third majority. The only president. So, Tawon Beki is not a person that I can take serious, honestly. Captured president did absolutely nothing for black people. And most black people don't understand. They will say, ah, but the economy was good when Tabon Beki was around. The economy was, you know, the economy was fine. Yeah, he's, he always reminds us that the first 15 years of the ANC, of the 30 years of democracy, was the best years. And after 15 years, it started going south, <laughs> you know. He always says that. In South Africa after 30 years. And essentially, here's one of the main points I was making that you have a, the first more or less 15 years of South Africa developing very well in its economy, in its politics, in its constitutional arrangements, very positive. And then you have the next period going in the opposite direction. So I was posing the question that you see here you have a situation where the governing party is the ANC during the first 15 years. The ANC is the governing party during the second 15 years. But why does it behave in manners that are directly opposite each other? Hmm. How do we explain this change? Now, I cited a number of people to, 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 to describe what happened in the first 15 years. I was trying to avoid a situation where, where people will say that I'm praising myself or something like that. Hmm. <clears throat> For instance, the... Uh, the, the CEO of the South African Institute of Race Relations has made a very good presentation about this, explaining what happened. Even a, a famous journalist like uh, Tony Stenberg uh, also did the same thing. He uh, gave a detailed account of what, uh, what happened, exactly of the manner that I've been talking about. So the point I made then clearly in this context was that uh, it's something that... Uh, maybe many of us did not pay sufficient attention to, was that even in 1994, there were certain people in the old order who were not at all happy that the ANC had won those elections, who continued to adopt a position that the, the ANC must be defeated. Hmm. You will see this, you will have seen this very clearly, I'm sure, in the discussion that has been in the media on the National Democratic Revolution. I hope you've looked at that. There's been a lot of discussion about this national democratic revolution with many of these people saying it is actually a disguise for the introduction of a communist system in our country. Hmm. And therefore it must be defeated. That you've had during this last 15 years an intervention by these people in order to make sure that this ANC fails because they don't want it to implement this communist national democratic revolution. Almost every time, almost every time when we listen to Tabombeki, this is what we must hear. This is exactly what we must hear every time we listen to Tabombeki. The first 15 years were all beautiful. South Africa was doing great, you know. The second 15 year, obviously implying that uh, Jacob Zuma and Cyril Ramaphosa did a terrible job, quite opposite. Tell me, you African people, what is it that we gained during Tabombeki? Don't tell me about the, about the price of bread and the price of... Because if you tell me about the price of bread and the pr price of petrol, the apartheid government was going to come out and say, but during our time, the price of bread and the price of petrol was cheaper. What are you going to say then? You understand what I'm saying? Don't use logic at all. Uh, don't be a, 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 a clever dumb. But there's a nice way of uh, clever bari. That's a, that's a way of putting it. I want clever bari. O bari mara ona noro clever wena. You understand what I'm saying? So utabom begi things we don't see through all of these things. Because a good economy, a, a well-performing economy does not mean anything for black people if their lives don't change. 
And we must rem remind people like that to say during Jacob Zuma's term, and I'm not a person that, uh, you know, praises uh, uh, Jacob Zuma because of what I'm saying during his term, the lives of black people changed. White monopoly started suffering. White monopoly capitalists started shaking. Transfer to Cyril Ramaphosa's time, uh, then you, you started having ESCOM uh, marking, uh, out leasing uh, performances that you could do themselves, started burning more diesel. That means buying more diesel. ESCOM, SAA, we can go on and on and on with, with Cyril's time. There is nothing that the ANC says about the, the previous five years of Cyril Ramaphosa. They tell you we, we face a pandemic, then there was the July unrest, we lost two million jobs. Then they, they, That's what they can tell you. And it's the honest truth, and you must believe them. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you guys say on the conversation. But for me, he was one of the worst presidents we have as black people. Yes, the economy was working. Yes, white people were happy. Yes, everything was onky dory. It's all right. But I'm telling you, black people's lives never changed for anything during Tabumbeki's time. And now he's coming back to say, guys, he, imagine we are two days to elections to uh, 29 May. Uh, now it's not even two days. Tomorrow is the 29th of May. And then he comes out and says, listen, the quality, the quality of the member membership of the ANC has declined. <laughs> this is what he's saying two days before the elections. Huh? Why does the ANC not apply the same energy that they were applying on Jacob Zuma to this guy? To say, listen, keep quiet. Why don't they come out and say, listen, keep quiet. You're going to make us lose points now. You are, you're scoring more on goals. Tabon Beki. Just listen to what he said. But let it, I'd, rather, I'd rather put this matter in my own words. What I'm trying to say, objectively, there was an intervention by forces in this country which were against, which were against the democratic change. Hmm. And they were determined to make sure that it fails. They intervened and did various things. And we, I cited you these two examples of SARS and, and ESCOM. There were others. Uh, Transnet is the same. They intervened to make sure that this democracy fails. Now, that's objectively what happened. And I'm saying the next month after the elections, uh, 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 Claudia might tell you this, we are going to issue a whole document on the ESCOM matter, huh? a whole document on the SARS matter, mm. to give all of the details of what happened. That's the point I'm making. Now, uh, in the course of its intervening, the counter-revolution to produce whatever results, which I have no doubt that it worked with some people in the ANC in order to produce what it wanted to produce. I have no doubt about that. That is correct. But as to whether this person or that person is the one who did, I leave that to Dumont Makai. But it is correct to say, when the, uh, the counter-revolution intervened to produce these negative outcomes, it certainly worked with, with people within the ANC. So those people who may or may not have worked with the counter-revolutionary elements, are those people coming in the last 15 years of democracy, which therefore see a decline, as you put it? Some of, some of them probably would have been infiltrated into the ANC long before. Uh, even by 1994, some of them were already within the ranks of the ANC. Um, but I think the other thing that we need to take into account is that uh, for some years, the, the quality, the quality of the membership of the ANC has been declining. This, it happened in this way. It was raised by uh, President Mandela when he gave his political report in Mafeking in 1997. Mm. And he said that since we've become government, there are many people who are joining the ANC, not because they support his values, his principles or whatever, but as a step ladder to a, a, a government job. Mm. Your ANC, that will give you a possibility to get a job in government. And that will give you a possibility to loot into your own pocket. 
the Mandela raised this thing, President Mandela raised this thing in December 1997 and said already there are quarrels taking place within the ANC about these things, about resources, not principles. Hmm. I'm saying over the years, you've had a deterioration in the quality of the membership of the ANC. Not everybody, but some of these people. And as part of what then is this negative element uh, of people who are, who are there, they, are, they call themselves ANC mm. and they are in government, but are doing things which have got nothing to do with the values and principles of the ANC. Those would be in addition to people who had been, who had been working with the counter revolution. That's part of the negative things that happened. Mm. And it's an important thing to, to bear in mind, probably because the ANC itself understood this problem. That is why the 2017 National Conference, the 2022 National Conference of the ANC, both of them, mm -hmm. said the ANC must renew itself for its own survival. Now, I want to, I want to touch about this new document that he says they're going to release after the election. Listen, the document that they're going to release after the election is to further attack Jacob Zuma. You, you see, I don't know anything about the document, but I will show you that I can predict what Tavonbeck is going to do. The document is going to, is going to attack only, oh, listen to me, only the term of Jacob Zuma to further discredit the legacy of Jacob Zuma. Mark my words, you will shake my hand. Yeah, we're going to have a report on, on ESCOM and SARS. Only during Jacob Zuma's term are they going to say that. They're not going to say anything about Cyril, especially if Cyril wins. They're not going to say anything. They're going to look stupid. You know, because the only person that they are fighting is Jacob Zuma. That's why I said to uh, Jacob Zuma, I said to him, I said, Baba, you don't need this ANC anymore. This is not the ANC that you grew up in and you fought for. It's not the ANC. The ANC has changed. The ANC has changed. The, the ANC that Jacob Zuma wants to fight and fix is no longer there. In fact, that ANC is a Mkondo Wesizwe. Fix that. Prepare that. Why are you worried about Lava? These people are out to kill Jacob Zuma. They have imprisoned him for contempt of court without a trial. Yeah? As if that was the biggest crime to say, listen, this person has broken a constitutional law. You cannot say no. You can't say no to Zondo. When Zondo summons you, you must go to court. <laughs> and if you don't go to court, you go to jail. We are not even going to ask you. We are not going to even trial you. We are not even going to allow you to present your facts why you are saying you don't want to go to Zondo in a court system. We are just going to jail you. It's okay. <laughs> Guys, the quality of ANC membership has declined. According to, to Tawambeki, this is the same people that tell us, let's vote the ANC. Hmm? When I say things like that, like, King, when you hate the ANC, whatever, how do I hate the ANC? Like all of these people, I grew up in the ANC. Still have family members who hold positions in the ANC till today. Respected in the ANC till, to, till today. Luckily, they are not YouTubers. Hey, YouTube um, content consumers. Hey, 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 Luckily, they don't watch YouTube as much. They watch SABC, these captured uh, uh, media outlets, Bo, ENCA, and uh, all of them. All these captured rubbish. They watch them. Otherwise, even from my, my wife's side, strong ANC people. people. But when you criticize and your critics is based on facts, then they say, listen, you are you are decampaigning the ANC. Then if I am decampaigning the ANC, what is Tabombeki doing? He's telling us the leadership, the quality has declined. People are in the ANC for, you know, for, for self-enrichment. They are there because there are no proximity to power gets you money. That's what, that's what he's saying. 
<laughs> you can't, we, we can't make these things up. The problem is you, you are saying this one day before the elections. What, what are you trying to achieve? Because Thabo Mbeki, once when we look back in the history of South Africa, we must say he's the most successful president of South Africa. Does not understand why do people love Mshalo Zigangaga? Why do people love Jacob Zuma? You, because he has that thing. When you don't have that thing, you know that political something, something, <laughs> like Jacob Zuma would say, that political something, something. He doesn't understand why is it that we love Jacob Zuma. <laughs> anyway, that's, I just wanted to give that one out, my faith. Thank you so much for the support. It's, it's election time. I'll be killing it. I'll be killing it. Uh, hey, I'll, yeah, this week I'll be killing it. Hit the bell icon. Hit the bell icon and make sure that you you don't let anything miss you. And if Uporegi Lofuna something to refresh you, go and watch African Mojolo with your boy King. Watch that channel, refresh there, uh, uh, you know, play with something with your mind and then come back. Come back to the political world. Until we meet next time, don't forget to pray. After you pray, stand up, African child. Do your best so that God can do the rest. Peace in pan-Africanism. I salute you.